So, this is how to make the origami water. Uh, this is how to make the origami dragon. So, what you're gonna start with is a sheet of printer paper, scissors, and that's it. So, what you're gonna do is fold this to the other side lengthwise. Try to be perfect. You don't have to, but just try. You need a square to make this. So, you're going to fold it, and you're going to have a triangle this way, over here. So, what you could use, you, you don't have to use scissors, but it's easier to use scissors than it is to cut it like, you fold it front, fold it back, and then you rip it apart. So, today I'm going to use scissors. So just cut through the paper. Okay, now open your paper. And you have a perfect square on both sides, of course. So what you're going to do is take this paper fold it down this way take this side keep the fold, don't open it fold it this way so you're going to have a smaller paper now open it and you're going to have a line going through in the middle and a line going through through the sides and a diagonal line going through here now fold the other side diagonally as you did to the other one. Don't open it. So you're going to have a triangle with a diamond in the middle and a line going through that diamond. What you're going to do is take this side of the paper, fold it back, so you're going to have this. Do the same with the other side, then open. You're going to have a more nicely creased triangle if you do that. So what you're going to do is open this and push this right into it. I prefer you to watch my origami water bomb video before watching this. Because it has a little, it has complicated folds. If you are new to origami, that is. Do the same with the other side. And crease all the sides. So you're going to have a square with a diagonal line running through it. And in the middle, you're going to have two flaps as you had in the water bomb. So what you're going to do right now is call what you're going to do right now is called the petal fold. It's a very complicated fold in origami, so I'm going to show it with the most with the best explanations I could show you. So you're going to take this and open it you're going to hold both of these sides and you're kind of going to pull back onto it until it starts to pull in if you're new to origami you could just do this you could take it from this side and just fold it down because you're gonna you want to end up with a big rhombus so you could do this And you're going to have a big rhombus. So you're going to kind of push in to it. Try to fold it the most you could. You're going to you're going to kind of you're going to close it. So it's going to you're going to have some shape a shape like this. And then you're going to open it back again. 
and then you're gonna take the side and crease, uh, put them, push them more inside, because it's gonna it's gonna be really easy to do it right now, because you already did half the fold. So when you're done, you're gonna have this. You're gonna do the exact same with the other side. If you then you're gonna end up with something like this with two rhombuses on each side, one rhombus on each side. It's okay if the if you put it like this, they're separating a little. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull on these two, hold on to this and pull on these two until you have a square over here. And then you're gonna have two rectangular re uh, triangle flaps over here and these two are going to be straight so it's going to look like this from the back and it's going to be straight in the middle so lay it down yeah lay it down and take these and you're going to kind of straighten it and you're going to fold them the side away from you a little bit. Don't fold it fully. Fold it fully. Do the same with the other side. Okay. So you're gonna have this with this open a little bit here. And on the other side as well. So what you're gonna do is take the top in front of those two and take this most of it at least a little bit of it. Fold it like this. So you're gonna have a line going up this way. Crease it. Then you're gonna have something that looks like this. So what you're gonna do is take this and fold it this way. Don't just do it like one inch and then you're gonna crease it again. So it's going to look kind of like this for the dragon's head. And the wings, what you're going to do with the wings is you're going to fold them like this. And then you're going to push this triangle. You're going to push this triangle down so it becomes straight. Becomes straight. Then you have a wing over here for your dragon. Do the same with the other side. Now you're going to have something that looks kind of like this. You're going to have something that looks kind of like this, here, like this, and the wings are going to be like this. It's going to be kind of hard, but it's okay. So take this back side, fold it as you do to the head, and crease. With the tail, you're going to do the same thing you did to the head, but the opposite way. So pushing it back and closing. 
And now you have your origami fury dragon.